All right, what are the values of V1, V2, and R2? I look at the circuit and see that it's a parallel circuit without any other series portion, no resistor in series. Therefore, all those voltages are in parallel, V1 equals V2, which must equal to, of course, the 40 volts. Well, that was easy. Now they want me to find R2, but what I know is that V1 is 40, and R1 is 6, and therefore I can apply Ohm's law. V is IR, and I can find the current through R1. Well, I is equal to V over R. Now you might say, well, why do you want to do that? And the answer is because really that's all I can do. And maybe from there I can find something else, and I find that it is 6.6 .6 amps through there. Ah, if 10 comes in and 6.6 .6 goes through there, 10 minus 6.6 .6 repeater goes through R2. Now hit pause if you don't quite get that, but it's uh, if 10 comes in and 6.6 .6 repeater goes through the R1, I subtract to find out what goes through R2. Well, now that I have with R2, I have V and I have I, ah, I can apply Ohm's law. And sure enough, I can find and solve for R2. And R2 will equal uh, V over I, which is 40 over 3.3 .3 repeater. And I just put that into my calculator and I get the answer, 12 ohms. Now, let's try this another way. What I notice is that I'm given a total voltage, uh, 40 volts, as you can see there. But I'm also given a total current. Well, if I have a total voltage and a total current, I can apply Ohm's law in a big way for the entire circuit and find the total resistance. And therefore, the total resistance is simply V over I, which is 40 over 10, which is an incredibly easy calculation. And the total resistance of that parallel portion is 4 ohms. Well, I have an equation for the total resistance of that parallel portion. 1 over the parallel section is equal to 1 over 6 plus 1 over R2. Now I know what RT is, so let me write this in the equation. 1 over 4 equals 1 over 6 plus 1 over RT. Now let me show you how I solve this, just give you an idea of how I think. I will rewrite this as 1 over R2 equals, and I'll show you what I do. Now I'm right here at the edge, but bear with me. <laughs> 1 over R2 is equal to 1 over 4 minus 1 over 6. Now what I want to do is find a common denominator. And since these numbers are so easy to use, uh, this is quite easy to do even in your head. So what I will do is say 1 over R2 equals, now I can see that the common denominator is 12. That's pretty easy. And I know that 1 over 4 is 3 over 12, so it's going to be 3 twelfths minus 2 twelfths. 1 6 is 2 twelfths. So 3 minus 2 is 1. Oh, I could just look at it and see that R2 equals the 12 ohms, just like before, which it better be. <laughs> and this is the other way of doing the problem.